Hi guys, it's your boy Dave here. So on the 25th of May, I made a satirical uh, version of the National Anthem of South Africa. The reason I did this was to expose Lamini Zuma's crazy decision to, you know, keep the ban on cigarettes. The song went pretty viral, so much so that it got into the hands of the mayor of Ekreleni. He then put out a tweet to say, who's this racist? I identified myself and um, I let my followers know that, you know, this is what the mayor of Ekreleni thinks. Someone gave me his number. I thought, let me just speak to him and try and get his points of view. I eventually got hold of him. Here's what happened. Okay, he's calling. Hi, I'm Zwandile. How are you, Chief? I'm good on yourself. Yes, but why are you playing with the national anthem, Chief? Uh, so yeah, let me, let me just explain who I am. South Africa. I'm a musician who's been making satire for, I'd say, the last three to four years. Oh, crap. Just reconnecting. Hello? Yeah, I think that's a bit better, yeah. No, I was, I'm concerned about, about what, you did, what you did, right? Yeah. Because the, the national anthem is a very important symbol of unity for the country. Uh, so I found uh, your, your, your attack on, 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 on the minister. You should have used other platforms. I'm not, defend, I'm not a defender of individuals, but I'm not a defender of individuals. When I'm not a defender of individuals, but when I'm not a defender of I'm defending the national anthem. I think that you vulgarize it. I just thought that you are playing in a dangerous space because it, it's make of racism. No, I understand your point of view. And, um, you know, normally, you know, I welcome people's opinions. Um, and you know what, like, I, I just want to explain my point of view. Like, I'm, I'm a proud South African. And I love our anthem, and I, I hope you can hear that, you know, by the way that I treated the, the song musically and with the harmonies, that I do have a lot of respect for the, for the song. I think it's a beautiful song. You know, whenever there's a soccer game or a rugby game where, the, where Bafana Bafana or the Springboks are playing, I sing it at the top of my lungs. It's, it's one of my favorite songs. So I just want to, you know, explain that, that I really, I am a patriot. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with satire, but it's, it's, you know, yeah. it's using exaggeration and irony to kind of expose things um, which uh, people, people are talking about, but it's, it's using it in a, in a sort of artistic way. And when I made, you know, the satirical, you know, piece of the anthem, I knew, I knew it was going to ruffle a few feathers. And I welcome comments from people who, who might not agree with what I'm saying. And, and I understand that you no, might I think... I don't agree. You yeah, can, yeah. You can't, play with the, you can't play with the national anthem. That, that's the point I'm making. I'm saying that I don't, I don't mind, uh, Dave. Uh, you can create satire as much as you can. But, uh, you know, it took a lot of blood and sweat for the national anthem to be agreed. So it's not something you can play with, uh, especially... Uh, when we must be uniting our country. You know, we've got a lot of challenges now. So for you to attack the minister and use this, I think it, uh, it's, uh, it's something that you perhaps need to reconsider. And that is why, for instance, you see how uh, you've never saw us, especially those of us uh, who are from the ANC, when we sing the national anthem, we sing it from start to finish because we respect the wishes and aspirations of those who negotiated a democratic country. For you to make a, a mockery out of our national anthem is wrong. And I'm saying to you as a young person, uh, so you, you have, you've got to be circumspect about things that you can create satires out of. A national anthem is not one of them. And I'm pleading with you, my brother, and I'm not fighting. You are a young person, artistic, I respect that. Uh, and, and that's why I, I really thought, how can a young person think like this? Because we should move away from apartheid mentality. But we should move away from apartheid mentality. In 60s and 70s and 80s, there were 
uh, formal pieces of legislation limiting what you're allowed to write uh, or say in public. You couldn't say anything that could be construed as furthering the aims of the enemies of the state, in other words, the ANC. But we should move away from apartheid mentality. Um, but yeah, the, the whole point of satire is to, to expose things which you don't agree with. And, and I think the point I'm trying to prove here by using the anthem is that I'm proud... No. I agree with you. I'm saying if you disagree with the minister on cigarettes and so on, and you want to accuse it, that's okay. You, you, I'm sure she can, she can defend herself. I am defending the national anthem. That's the only yeah. thing. That's why I'm, I'm worried about the national anthem as well. I'm worried about you as a young person who want to vulgarize uh, this important, uh, uh, this, this important uh, 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 anthem. Okay, and and you think um, you think it's racist to to change the words of the national anthem? It's really racist. It's bad. It's okay. bad. Okay, and, and just just out of interest, I mean, if it was a, a young black guy who changed no, the words, no. it doesn't matter what what is the color. Whether you are yellow, pink, it's the same. Go see Sigeleli, Africa, Manunsu, Mbunwayo, Tina, Leswap. When Mandela does, we're going to kill them. Oh, we're going to kill you. Oh, you kill you. Yeah, you laugh. It's very really racist. It's bad. Please consider, uh, uh, you know, uh, other means of, of, of advancing the same thing. I'm not a, a spokesperson or a defender of the minister and, and, and or the cabinet for that matter. I'm saying that you can't do those things using the national anthem, and that's the only thing I'm saying to you. Okay, but it, but it's also a free country. There's a freedom of speech, and there's a disclaimer in the video saying that these these are my okay, own so views. If it's, a, if it's a freedom of speech, so 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 why why are you calling me then? Because if if you hold those views, I thought that you wanted to to find each other on the matter. I've expressed. My feelings about it, as, an, as, as, a, as a leader in the country, and I, I have said to you, as a young person who has got an opportunity to learn um, what it means when you play with such important uh, uh, anthem, and then if you feel that uh, your freedom of speech is being uh, trampled with by myself, well, there is no need for us to talk. Then. Um, when Mandela does, we're going to kill them. Oh, we're going to kill you. It's against the law to call someone racist if you don't have grounds for it. So that's that's kind of just that's kind of just what I'm trying to understand. Is like, you know, I understand that your grounds are that you know you just you, you just don't mess with the anthem, and I understand that it is a sacred song. Don't mess with an anthem, about. I think that's. I thought we were going to find each other. Let's cut it here. So I, I, you know, my, you know my views about this thing. Yeah. Uh, and I hope, I hope that in future you you will respect this important. Uh, 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 yeah. Because, of no, I, because you can It's like you know what you are doing now. It's like you are raising an apartheid flag in a democracy. It's exactly why? The same. Why is that? No, but it's the same thing. Why? Why? Why, why vulgarize my, the national anthem? It, it's satire. Dave. <laughs> All the best to satire, my brother, and they have said what I said. Thank you. Okay, no, no, I appreciate you. Uh, take <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, uh, guys, that's that's the chat with Mswangile, and uh, yeah, I guess he has the right to to think that I'm racist for for changing the national anthem, as do. You know, anyone, what, like, if you're watching this video and you didn't like the song and you thought it was racist, that is your right. What I don't agree with is the substantiation for that. This guy is a mayor of Ekrileni. He has incredible power and influence. And, you know, he's just put out a tweet with my face on it saying, who is this little racist? Um... And I'm glad that most people kind of came to my defense and said there's nothing racist about this video, but there, there were death threats. And that's what I don't agree with. 
And the thing is, I can take it. Like I've, I've received death threats many times, but what I, what I think is scary is that, you know, we live in a free country, but you know, we've, we've got these leaders who see nothing wrong with, with making threats and, and threatening uh, ordinary citizens like myself. So what does democracy actually mean if we can't speak our mind? Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. And yeah, um, Zwandile, I just want to say thank you for, for speaking to me if you're watching this. And uh, yeah, I understand your point of view. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully something good can come out of this. Cheers.